Hello and welcome back. Today, we're going to explore the world of diagnostics. Today, we hear the term OBD2 a lot. Of course, that's an acronym. So let's find out exactly what it stands for. OBD2 stands for Onboard Diagnostics Version 2. Since it's version two, there must have been a version one. Looking back into a little history will tell us that onboard computer systems actually started in 1968 with the VW including an analog system on their fuel-injected Type 3 models. It lacked any diagnostic capabilities, but did usher in the world of computer controls. In 1975, Bosch and Bendix debuted their fuel injection system to help with tailpipe emissions. While these were analog systems, they started to include some very rudimentary diagnostic capabilities. Finally, in 1988, CARB required that all vehicles sold in California have some basic onboard diagnostics. This capability is not standardized or consistent between brands. In 1994, OBD2 was created for CARB sales, and then in 1996, it was made a requirement for all vehicles sold in the United States. The significance of this event is that the SAE developed a standard protocol for transmitting this data and a standard plug that we are all familiar with today. This also includes a standardized set of trouble codes across all manufacturers for diagnosing issues. We are all familiar with the OBD2 plug on vehicles. The universal thing about this is they all use the same connector and read out the same codes regardless of the vehicle it is being used on. Today, the most common tool used is the familiar code scanner. These vary in price and capabilities. Some merely read out the trouble code and require the user to identify the proper repair. The more sophisticated tools include further diagnostic capabilities. The most sophisticated tools will allow pinpoint testing of individual circuits and step-by-step -step procedures to lead to the proper fault. Today's technological advances have created all new opportunities for OBD2. Tools no longer must be plugged into the port with a wire connecting them. Bluetooth connections allow for remote tool use with just a small transmitter plugged into the vehicle. Many other uses for the port have found their way into use. Insurance companies can monitor insured driving habits, Performance companies can use the port to alter performance programs within the ECM, and even theft deterrent companies can use this port to locate a vehicle. When you are assisting your customer with an OBD2 issue, it is especially important that both you and the customer realize what capabilities you are using. If they are using a reader, the actual diagnosis is still up to them. Simply throwing parts at a code is not a recipe for success. Further guided diagnostics is suggested for proper repairs. Do not get caught suggesting the replacement of a component and then be faced with a return issue that you can't handle with your customer. That's all for today and thanks for being with us.